Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists. In manga chapter 45, we got to see the stunning conclusion of Vegeta vs. Moro. We knew about his abilities to absorb the life force from planets and we were all thinking how could he use this ability against Goku or Vegeta. I was thinking that he would have to trick them in order to drain their power and it would be obvious that he was draining them of their energy. However, Vegeta and Goku rushed into this encounter without all the facts. Moro proves in this chapter to be truly terrifying when it comes to his abilities and something that Dragon Ball Super was lacking. After Vegeta had taunted Moro to show his magic, he didn't disappoint as his first technique he used was attacking Vegeta with the actual life force of the entire planet. Even more scary is the fact that the magnitude of the attack isn't based on his power, but the actual planet itself. So where Goku and Vegeta battle Moro will make a significant difference in what he can do. There were some really stunning panels in this chapter of Vegeta going Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to get the upper hand despite Moro using such impressive techniques. This fight would look absolutely amazing animated and I hope to see that in the near future. Quickly after Vegeta knocked Moro down though, it was evident that he had something else up his sleeve. Something strange started to happen and while Goku noticed he wasn't sure what it was. As Moro emerged from the water, he was beginning to absorb the life force of everything on the planet. Which we later found out from Miris and Jocko that Moro doesn't even have to attack Goku and Vegeta in order to weaken them. So as Vegeta and Goku stood by watching what they thought was Moro just powering up for an attack, he was actually able to absorb their energy with vital life force from the rest of the planet eating it. Of course this powered Moro up to who knows what heights now and leaving Vegeta without the energy to even transform into Super Saiyan. At this point now it's all over. Vegeta and Goku are defeated because they aren't prepared to fight such a fearsome opponent. As I said before, I wasn't sure how exactly we would arrive at this outcome, but Goku and Vegeta will have to retreat. The only hope will be for Goku to perhaps use something like a solar flare to blind Moro and give them enough time to instant transmission back to the galactic patrol ship and regroup. This is clearly an opponent that will take a lot of strategy to overcome and brute force just simply will not work, which I find really refreshing in this arc. I hope everyone has had a great week and enjoyed this chapter. As always, I look forward to your theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and turn on that notification bell to keep those theories coming.